what do you make of the first couple of days of fall camp? And great. How good is it yeah, great. Energy's been good. Um, physicality the last two practices has been really good. I think our defense still is still trying to learn our defense and learn our style of how we play and the physicality and toughness that we need to play with. But um, I thought today was a step forward from uh, yesterday. And uh, just, yeah, got to continue down the road of just being a, a violent, aggressive, physical football team that Coach Hill talks about all the time. And so, um, but the first four days I've been pleased. As far as the kicking situation goes, do you expect Justin Smith to not be here for fall camp or what, what kind of like Yeah, we kind of expected for a while. He'd been battling with an injury for a while, um, going all the way back to last season and just through fall or the, through spring ball was struggling and, and uh, knew it was kind of a long shot for him to get himself healthy. Um, but uh, yeah, for him and his future, it was the best for him to uh, step away and just focus on academics and getting his degree. So, where are you currently at with the place kicking battle? Great. Anyone in the lead? I'm going to leave it at that. Great. I feel very, very good about it, though. Very good. Um, we didn't kick today, but the first three days we kicked, and uh, very pleased with. Um, the three kickers that we have with Will and Matthias and Jordan. Uh, Capisi just came in uh, to take Justin's spot, and uh, I think he's exceptional as well. So I'm really excited. Got to obviously get him in a game situation, but from what they did in um, the last three practices, I don't think Will has missed, and I think Matthias has missed one um, in the first three practices. And so, yeah, very encouraged. With Will, Matthias, and uh, Jordan Capisi. What kind of, can you shed any light on just sort of how Jordan got here, being the new guy and, and just sort of how quickly that all? Yeah, it just through, through recruiting, you always have guys that you're aware of. Um, and so we always have a list of walk-ons that we have to get ready to take just in case a situation like this happens. So I've been talking to Jordan for a long time. He was going to, uh, if Justin didn't go um, um, medical, then Jordan would have been here on the first day of school anyway. So he was coming in anyway. And so instead of coming in on the first day of school, we just bumped him up to fall camp. Okay. Are there, well, sorry, Will, from uh, how much have you seen of him up in, up in Boise? From, uh, so, I mean, from last spring ball when I was with him in 2022, uh, Will was battling our starting kicker. Really, percentage-wise, was better than our starting kicker up there, but that guy had kicked forever, and he's one of the best kickers in the country. So, um, you know, he was a good backup for him. But I'm, I'm very confident in Will, and Will's confident in himself, and he's feeling healthy. and. And uh, I think Matthias is right there with him too as well. So that's, that's I think, a great problem to have is you have two guys that are uh, competing and the team sees it. And, uh, you know, what I tell the guys all the time, the more confidence um, they can have in themselves and by making their kicks, it's just building the confidence of the team as well. And just seeing that energy um, at the end of practice, um, those first three practices was great to see the support that the team's given those guys with the success they're having. And so, um, yeah, but you guys all know. It doesn't matter until you get into the game. So um, we're going to try to apply that those in pressure situations and that environment as much as we possibly can until getting into that first game. And then get into the first game, and we'll see uh, which guy it will be. But I'm excited about both of them right now. The correction process for mistakes on the field, how much of it gets done in practice and how much of it gets done? Uh, Coach, Hill, Coach Hill likes us to wait until we get into the film and just really focus on the next play. You know, So there's little breaks that we have in practice where we'll correct some things or emphasize something. But typically from play to play, we try hard as coaches. I've, you know, I've always kind of been that guy that you know sees something wants to say it right there, but you kind of kind of hold back, write it down, so you have a reminder later. But uh, a little different from a game. In a game, you got to be able to adjust, you know, play to play or series to series. Here, we try to wait to do most of our corrections in the film room, um, and just let the players play out here. Well, and I've seen the players, some of the veterans, walk up to some of the freshman new guys and, and give them an idea of what might have happened or what they've been doing. Yeah, yeah, and that's a culture I think Kalani's created. Just you know. Peer-to-peer -peer leadership is what you know. He talks a lot about that, and I think that's uh, a great thing. You know, I see it a lot more. You know, offensively and defensively, they're starting to pick it up more and more. And I think a lot of it's because they are really still learning as well as they go. But um, the more veteran guys, that is a part of this program, and making sure they're teaching the younger guys and showing them how it's done the right way. All right, All right. Thanks. thanks, guys.